Oh, hi kids. It's great to see you today. Pastor Aaron will be along shortly, but in the meantime, I've got a new joke for you. You want to hear it? All right. What do you call a dinosaur that's sleeping? You ready for this? It's so good. Okay. It's a dino snore. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. All right. So today I was looking at a calendar and I see that it says today is Palm Sunday. I don't really know what Palm Sunday is, but I heard Pastor Aaron will tell us all about it when she comes on shortly. I do know that that means we're one week away from Easter and I love Easter. Easter is the day we celebrate Jesus coming back to life after being crucified for our sins. I'm really excited to celebrate Easter, but that's next week. This week, we're going to hear all about Palm Sunday and the great things that Jesus did on Palm Sunday. Now, we were supposed to have an awesome Easter egg hunt here today uh, for you, but since we can't do that in person this week, we have a special treat for you. On the video of Pastor Aaron, there are Easter eggs all throughout it in the background. And I want you to keep your eyes open and count how many Easter eggs you find. And then at the end, let us know the total you found. I'm so excited for this. Let's turn it over to Pastor Aaron to hear all about Palm Sunday. I wonder why they call it Palm Sunday anyways. I'm sure she'll tell us. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, I heard that Vector told you that we're going to talk about Palm Sunday today. I'm so excited. Today, I've hidden Easter eggs all over my house. And you're going to have to help me count how many we find. When we go into each room, there's a special blue Easter egg that's going to have a clue for our story today. And that's how we're going to learn about what Palm Sunday is. I hope you'll join me. Will you join me? Awesome! Let's go! Let's see if there's any blue eggs in my bathroom. I hope you got a count of how many other eggs there were. Let's go look out on my balcony. Let's see if we can find the last two. and all six clues. Let's see what we got. Cloak. King. Palm branches. Donkey. Palm Sunday. And Hosanna.
This is a true story about Jesus. You see, Jesus was out and about with his disciples and he was healing people and doing all of these miracles. And these guys called the Pharisees, they were not excited about it. Actually, they became really jealous of Jesus. And Jesus knew that his purpose on this earth was to come to earth and die and save us from all of our sins. We call him our rescuer or our savior. And this is the story leading right up to right before Jesus had to die for us. So Jesus told one of his friends, go out and find me a donkey that no one has ever ridden on and bring it back here. And if the owner should tell you, hey, that's my donkey. You can't have that. You just tell them it's for the Lord and they'll let you have it. So his friends went out and they found a donkey and they said, this is the donkey for our Lord. And they untied it and the owner said, what are you doing with my donkey? And they said, this is for Jesus, our Lord. And the owner said, oh, no problem. And they let him have the donkey. So they brought the donkey back to Jesus and they put their clothes over it. And Jesus got on the donkey and started riding into Jerusalem. On his way into Jerusalem, people knew that Jesus, our King, was coming. That's right, they called him King. And to greet the King on his entry into the city, they put they pulled off palms from the palm trees and they laid them down. And some people even took off their coats or what they call cloaks and put them down too. It's like they were paving the way for Jesus to come. And so they put it down and Jesus rode in on his donkey and they yelled, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. And everybody cheered and they waved palms celebrating Jesus is coming. Jesus is king and he's on his way into the city. And that's why we call this Palm Sunday, because everybody put their palms down for Jesus and they yelled and they shouted and they celebrated, Jesus is King, Jesus is Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna. And Jesus galloped into the city knowing that later that week, he was gonna have to lay down his life for us so that we could know God and that we could be forgiven of our sins. I think it's so amazing that Jesus would do something like that for us. Do you think that's amazing? I know I do. Can you piece together all of my clues? Let's see if you can get it. First, Jesus asked for a donkey. Second, they knew he was king. Third, because they knew he was king, they put down palm branches. And fourth, their cloaks. And fifth, they yelled, Hosanna! Glory to God! Hosanna! And that's what we call Palm Sunday. That's our sixth clue. Did you get them all in order? That's awesome! You're so smart! Maybe this week you write down the clues or you draw a picture of the clue and you hide them and you have your parents go and find them. And you can tell your parents the story of Palm Sunday. I think that would be an awesome idea. If you do it, make sure you send me a picture or let me know how it goes. I miss you guys so much and I hope you have an awesome Palm Sunday. See you later. Bye.